Hello everyone. This is Assistant Professor Dharam Narkat welcomes you all to this subject effective technical communication. Moving with the next module that is module number 6 self development and assessment. As we know, we the human beings possesses infinite potential, but we don't work to our full potential due to the various reasons. We are not working with our full potential. If we don't make ourselves better than before, then our lives will become stagnant that means steady if we are not working more and more day by day our life becomes stagnant to be successful in all the spheres of the life we need to develop ourselves each day and do continuous assessment of where we are it is important in setting goals and moving towards achieving those goals so in this chapter the self development and assessment which is very important element and are discussed keeping the students and professional in mind this is not only for the students this is not only for the professional but to all the human beings though it is the target for the students here we are targeting for the students but it is for the all <coughs> let's have a look on the topics that we are going to cover in the module number 6 that are the first topic is change and growth all the topics are too small and there are around 14 topics that we are going small small topics the first we are going to cover is change and grow persist and prioritize third we will going to cover is read and learn how you will develop yourself by reading how you will develop your skills by learning fourth the listen and the record fifth is remember and assess you have to assess daily to have the progress in your life sixth think and communicate and last topic we are going to cover is relate and dream these are not the both topic together but the total we are going to cover this 7 into 2 that is 14 topics in this module let's moving with the first topic that is change as you have heard by robin sharma change is hard in the beginning messy in the middle and gorgeous at the end we always look for the stability but the only thing that is constant in the world is change change is constant you have to change day by day it is the very important for us to keep us with the change we need to develop ourselves to become better today than yesterday we all have certain image which we might have formed subconsciously based on our experience but when we think a little deeply most of the time we want people must have a certain image of ourselves in our mind this different in both the images is because the image we had created till now was subconscious which might have been a result of resorting to our circumstances so in reality we all want to be a person who are liked and appreciated by others and rewarded for our work as our human nature we like that others appreciate us we know that there are certain things in us like our habits or the quality which needs to be changed and if we become successful in doing so we can become the better people with reward coming our way let's have a look of the change if a student is not able to study regularly he scores less marks his actual potential and then regrets in the end only if i could have studied regularly here the student has to work continuously on changing his habits with prioritize he has he have to be prioritize he have the time management and assessment etc he has to introspect a lot and find out ways on how to go ahead about it while riding ourselves with bad habits we must remember that it need to be replaced with one a good habit there are various bad habits in our day to day life through which we are not changing but we have to change one then two and then more to have a growth in our life completely trying to get away from the bad habit without replacing with another good ha- habit will take you nowhere they that without changing it would make you the at the same place that means the stagnant place consider a professional let's have a example of the professional who is not able to meet his or her deadline or is never able to reach office on time he or she needs to introspect and find out what needs to be changed to become more effective 
if such a change is not brought about the person ends up with no progress rather will regret in the life without changing you have to regret in your life thus change is all important for the society as a whole as i have said it is not for the student it is not only for the professional but this module is for the every person when an individual brings about a change in oneself everything around also changes rather than completely we must always strive to bring about that change ourselves and yes if you have heard the, the sentence of the mahatma gandhi be the change you want to see in the world many times you have to see the change that this person is like this he have to change this person is like this he needs change i need this change in the world but to see that change you have to change your thought this sentence is given by the mahatma gandhi that be the change you want to see in the world so this is about the change and also there are six steps to bring about a change first is identify one thing that you need to change you have every person needs some change but you have to identify it first accept that you really need to change this one things determine that you will do something to change determination you have heard the word you need determination to have something to change identify the action points to bring about the change then you have to take the actions and persist till you success you have to continue have the progress until and unless you get the success so these are the six steps to bring about a change in your life next topic is grow as i have said this all topics are very very small you have heard the name but you have you never went brief into it second topic is the grow growth is painful also change is painful but nothing is as painful as staying stuck where you do not belong the sentence given by the narayan murthy as we have discussed change is painful similarly the growth is painful when we change we grow as a human beings each time we scratch ourselves we expand our limits the out of the box we have heard the last topic creative thinking in the last module we out of the box we daily we expand ourselves and we stretch ourselves from above our limit it is rightly said that you can grow only if you move out of your comfort zone a comfort zone is the limit within which we can operate at ease the moment we go out of this limits we start experience lots of difficulties and we feel like going back to our comfort zones for example let's have an example when you start going to a gym on first few days your body will edge that means you find some pain in your body then slowly and gradually your body becomes used to this extension and it doesn't pain at all that means you are now you change yourself and you are now comfortable with that stretch but again if you add the number of exercises then again it will start paining the same fundamental applies to everything because our mind are like muscles we need to train our mind in order to grow anything which we do a little more than what we used to we exercise difficulty but if we persist that new difficulties level become our comfort zone this way every time crossing the boundary of our comfort zone we can keep on growing in all the aspects of our life hence always try to do a little more than what you have thought to in order to grow you have to always try to do more and more in the day to day life yes it will have been first but then that will be your comfort zone so growth is painful also change is painful but nothing is as painful as staying stuck where you are do not belong this is all about the guru third topic today we are going to cover is persist also nelson mandela said it always seems impossible until it's done in life in the surrounding us we are seeing everything which is done and we are trying to do that thing only which is done we are not trying to do something different which is not exist and that that is why we we see it is impossible persistence is the key to bring about a change and grow in ourselves 
and our surrounding. It is persistence alone which will make you successful to bring about a positive change in your life. The road upward is always difficult. If you are moving upward, it is always difficult. And there will come a time when you would want to give up. It is very easy to set state by temptations of giving up. Take an example. Let's have an example of the student who has decided to study two hours continuously. Sometimes you also face this problem that we decide that this two hours I will study only. After half an hour, suppose he, the student, will start feeling a little bored and will start looking for the distractions. If at that time his friends come with an idea of playing, he will quickly get up and go without complete, completing what he has decided. This is how we don't scratch our limits and can never grow. Imagine a mountaineer. Let's have an example of the mountaineer who climbed for many days and is almost about to reach the peak, but gets exhausted and thinks that now he can't go further. That is preciously the time when he has to gather all the courage and persist only a little more. And if he does that, he not only reaches the peak but also finds out that the other side of the mountain is too beautiful to give up. Persistence is thus refusing to give up on the face of difficulties and keep on moving forward till the time you reach your goal. Lastly said, what is persistent? It is refusing to give up. We have some ideas, we have some thought to change, but you don't have to refuse, you don't have to give up. And fought with the difficulties and keep on moving forward till the time you get your goal so these are the three topics today we have covered first is the change you need change every day you need your habits to change second is the grow grow is painful also change is change is painful as we have discussed you have to grow daily and last you have to persist you don't have to give up on your change these are the three topics we have covered in the first video of module number 6 that is self-development and assessment. More topics of module 6 will be further discussed in upcoming videos. Thank you.